I'll drive. I'm cool, let's move. Fire. I have a shot. Engage him. Round just missed him. He's looking for the source. The lieutenant's escaping. Ah, oh, shit. We've been spotted. Got it. Moving. Copy. Target marked. Ah, oh, hell. Well, there's always another chopper out there somewhere, right? That's it, we're clear. I asked the Rebels to send over a vehicle for us. The vehicle is perfect for you, no? Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocalero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocaleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocaleros and disrupt Madra Coca's production. Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. 
Spoiler alert. This is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madra Coca Group is a Raspuccina. A coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pavla died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You know, fuck with Mama. Madre Coca's enforcers arrive every night to collect the coca leaf harvest at a local farm. I want you to set an ambush for these assholes and send a message to Madrakoga that the rules of the game just changed. Deploying drone. Looks like the Cocaleros are putting together a big shipment to hand over to the cartel. We've got an opportunity to take out Santa Blanca forces while they're around. Let's move. I got a target carrying submachine Moving guns. to position. Let me find a good position. Copy that. Moving. Got the target. Roger. Target acquired. Ready to fire. Tango down. Got another tango. Let's go. Ready? Open fire. Copy. Got it. Open fire. Mierda, chingada madre. Hay un puntero de soldados gringos acá. Pásenlo. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Got it, moving. Eyes on the target. I need to get to a better position. Target acquired. Enemy killed. Genius. We got enemy Back reinforcements again. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> Moving to position. Let me find a good position. Moving to a better position. Copy. Target marked. Roger that. Target marked. Good to go. Dropped him. Good, all clear. We've got 
enemy activity nearby. We rattled somebody's cage. We're done here. The cartel won't get any coke out of these guys anymore. Now we exfil and wait for the fallout. A respected cocolero named Chavez is trying to spur the locals to revolt against Madra Coca. We need to keep him alive at all costs. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. We'll go. Weapons free, weapons free. He's dead. Oh. Shit balls. What's up? They know we're here. Shooting. Let's clean up and move on. and a supply bird. It's fully loaded. Let's take it. The rebels could really use that gear. Ready? Open fire. Copy. I'm opening fire. Check it out. Present. Weapons case. Heads up, hostile presence. Nice. Sure are a lot of light this week. I'm good. Crank it. Rebels can send a team in later to pick up their supplies. Bowman, this is Nomad. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace.
A respect Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. up in the agricultural cooperative now. There's Chavez. He's probably about to make his big speech. More like a big middle finger to the cartel. The guy's got balls, I'll give him that. Let's see if we can talk some sense into him before this gets ugly. Who the monies are you? Did Madre Coca send you? Expecting trouble, senor? Oiga. You didn't answer my question. I'm a friend, and I'm trying to keep you from making a big mistake. Mistake? Usted que sabe? Since when is helping my people a mistake? If you make this speech, people are gonna get killed. It's that simple. Madre Coco is gonna send in her people, and it's gonna get bloody. So I should stay silent? That's your answer? Se equivoca. Then you are no better than Madre Coca. Get out of my way, gringo. I must speak with my people. This is Nomad. We're at the Agricultural Cooperative. Chavez blew off our warning. He's about to speak to the Cocaleros. The rebels say Chavez is the real deal. A true revolutionary. He's a dead man walking. The cartel is not gonna let this slide. Do whatever it takes to keep Chavez alive. That'll show the rebels we're serious about stopping Madre Coca. On it. I don't know I... The drone is up. Before the cartel came, we were our own men. Hombres libres. Sembrábamos café and tended our field with pride. What are we now? ¿Qué nos ha hecho esta diabólica mujer? ¿Qué nos ha hecho Madre Coca? I will tell you. I call Pacatari for some water supply. Everyone control. on the ground, get you down! Put your death, Kumpa. Shut out. Roger that. Opening fire. Get ready. Fire. A copy.
Frag out. Frag out. We're in a target core environment. Okay. history. Bowman, we wrapped it up. Chavez is secure. Good work. Keep digging for intel on Madre Coca's operations. We need to know where the Coca leads are going and where they're being stored prior to transit. Roger that. We're on it. Hang on, I'll drive. I'm set. Let's go. Fire. Fire, fire, oh, fire. Engage, hop. Shit, they spotted us. on Rebel Radio Broadcast Unit. Activate it and get their message out. And then dig in for a fight. Those things are like party invitations for SB goons. Lieutenant's trying to escape. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy that. Firing. They know we're here. Roger, target acquired. Either I walk away from here with answers or your ears. The choice is yours. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Schedule on coca shipments going out of the freight yard here in Tabacal. Who feels like getting their hands dirty? Coca leaves taken from the local farmers are stockpiled at the Tabacal freight yard for delivery. I want you to get in there and destroy the stockpile. That ought to get Madre Coca's attention. That's a supply chopper. Let's hijack it and bring it to the rebels. I'm sure they'll make good use of it. Fucking hell! Fuck, sniper!
ready to fire. is airborne. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. I've got two Sicarios. Close to the Eyes mortar. Up. We've got Sicarios guarding the freight yard. I'm in. Let's go. Coming up on the target. Damn. You can run a hell of a lot of freight from a rail yard like that. Hold up. Shit, the spot in us. Coming up on the target. Damn. You can run a hell of a lot of freight through a rail yard like that. Used to be coffee beans for a Yahoo cafe back in the day. Now it's all cocoa all the time. I need to sweep the entire yard for coca stocks. Focus on the warehouses and the main building. Any stocks we find, we take them out. Copy that. Let's get it done. First coca stock destroyed. Let's move on to the next. Got a coca stock here, staged outside one of the warehouses. Frag out. I'm in here to Caleros. Target down. Gotta hit the last stock. We got a sniper, get down! Grenade, watch out! Roger, let me get in position. Grenade, grenade! Roger that, target marked. We've got... Open fire. Roger. The lieutenant's on the run. Grenade, move, move, move. Target down. Hit the dirt. Helicopter. Sniper. Stay there. Ready? Roger. Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Got eyes on the coca stock here. Frag out. Ten million dollars worth of coca leaves in those stocks. That's gonna hit my hold on. Roger that. Cartel Sicarios are joining the fight. Must have been $10 million worth of coca leaves in those stocks. 
That's gonna hit Modric. Wait. dollars worth of coconut leaves in those stocks. That's gonna hold up. Heads up, Santa Blanca's here. Must have been ten million dollars worth of coconut leaves in those stocks. That's gonna hit Madre Coca where it hurts. Engaging tangos. Look the hornet's nest. Their OT is escaping. Hey! I got eyes in a weapons case. Either I walk away from here with answers or your ears. The choice is yours. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Ready? Open fire. This will go nice with my boots. Got one. Justo lo que buscaba para acabar con esos cerdos. Fire. We'll go. He's gone. It's a route planned for a convoy that moves along the death road. A security team rides along with it. There's a name here. Salazar. Bowman, we're picking up chatter about a cartel lieutenant by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madricoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madre Coca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start, said he reminded her of her own son, who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So, she had the old man stuff in the stack of tires and set him on fire. Jorge has been her adopted son and right-hand man ever since. That's seriously fucked up. Salazar's probably the one person in the world Madre Coca really trusts. We grab him. It'll turn her world upside down. Let's see what we can do. Madre Coca's right-hand man is a local by the name of Salazar. She depends on him for everything. Let's see how she reacts when we take him into custody. stories about the death road, but it's a whole other thing to see it up close. Yeah, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Waiting to happen? More like happens all the damn time. I wouldn't ride that road with a gun to my head. Where are you taking me? 
Someplace where Madre Coca won't find you. <laughs> You're a fool. There's no place in Bolivia where she can't find me. You really think she'd go to all that trouble just for you? Get your head out of your ass. She's using you. Using me? She pulled me out of the fields and maybe her right-hand man. I was 17, and everyone in Tabacal treated me like a king. She gave me power, respect, people feared me. Yeah, you won the asshole lottery. Good for you. She's probably lining up your replacement right now. You don't know her like I do, gringo. Trust me, you're going to burn. Coming up in the rally point. Heads up, this is our stop. There, hijo de puta. You hear me? You know who the fuck I am? You're Madre Coca's boy, right? She used to wipe your ass and tuck you in at night. What the hell did you just say? Shut your whole mama's boy. You're coming with us. Someone wants to talk to you. Madres! Suck my dick, Blanquiñosa de mierda! I ain't saying shit! Salazar, did it ever occur to you that... I don't actually need you to talk. Without you, there's no one to run things in Tabacal. Madricoca will have to come out of hiding and then we'll have her. Entonces, you think I'm the only one she trusts? Carajo, mujer. She has people loyal to her working with the farmers. Now that's an interesting piece of information. See? You're cooperating already. Wait! I didn't! Sure you did. And Madre Coca would skin you alive if she ever found out. Give us a name, Salazar, and we promise this stays between you and us. If not... Dale, pues. Okay! Let's go. Bowman just uploaded some names for us. Looks like Salazar finally talked. It's a list of Santa Blanca snitches working inside the farmer's co-op. You know what to do. We take him out. Salazar's given up the names of several cocoleros who've been secretly spying for Madre Coca. If Chavez and the others are gonna stand a chance against the cartel, we need to take these fuckers out. Buckle up, people. This is Bowman. We got her. Holy shit, we got her. Say again? I just heard from my rebel contact in Tabacal. Madra Coca's reached out to them. She thinks they're the ones who got Salazar, and she wants it back. She wants to set up a meet to negotiate. You believe her? I believe she wants Salazar. The rest doesn't matter. We've got Madra Coca right where we want her. You can accompany the rebels to the meet. Talk to her. Convince her that if she wants Salazar back, she's got to play along. I'm sending coordinates for the RV now. The rebels will take you to the meet. I'm counting on you to keep things from getting out of hand, Nomad. We need Madra Coca alive. There's the farm where cartel snitches are hiding. As soon as we hit one of them, the rest will scatter. We need to take them down fast before they get away. Wait. 
Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Opening fire. Shit, he knows he's taking fire. Their LT's trying to run. Fuck. We're made. Grenade, move! Second target KIA confirmed. Let's find the last cartel rat and take him out. That's the last of them. Let's clear out and let the Cocoleros take care of the rest. Madre Coca says she's willing to negotiate for Salazar's release. The old bitch sounds desperate. We could use this to turn her against El Sueño. All you have to do is convince her. I'll drive. Pakatari to send us a vehicle. Good to go. Bowman, we're coming up on the RV now. Good. The rebels are waiting. Follow them, and they'll lead you to Madrakoka. Those janky soldiers. That's right. Follow us. Uni Dad headed this way. How are we gonna handle the meat, boss? What's the move? I'll do the talking. 
Give Madre Coca the terms, see how she reacts. Everybody else hold back. I don't like it. Wait. Engage targets. Fuck, fuck, fuck! God damn it, the cartel sent reinforcements. Spotted a Sicario leader. Looks kind of skittish. Ideal for spreading a little fear. Ready? Fire. Ugh. Bowman, this is Nomad. Madre Coca's dead. What the hell happened? It was an ambush. Madre Coca never had any intention of negotiating. She was looking for hostages of her own to trade for Salazar. She damn near got them. <laughs> Tricky old bitch. Leverage works both ways, Bowman. She knew you couldn't resist taking a run at her. The only mistake she made was thinking we'd go down easy once the trap was sprung. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. I still think it was worth the risk. Turning her would have been one hell of a coup. Take your team and disappear. Madra Coca's death is gonna cause a lot of waves, and I need to see how it all shakes out. Roger that, Nomad out. I got one of those cartel medals here. Some Sicario is gonna miss. Hold up. I had told El Yayo and La Gringa to step up production. They claimed they were doing their best. Obviously, I had not been clear enough. This man's life was in your hands, and this is what you've done with it. I can't do this anymore. Please, just let me go home. I swear to God. I won't tell anyone what happened here. Sometimes I don't think you take me seriously. Next time I will show you how serious I can be. Cartel metal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Good work in Tabak Hell. Taking out Madra Coca and her lieutenant has thrown her organization into chaos and provided an opening for the Cocaleras to declare their independence. It's already happening. Madra Coca's supporters could have kept things from getting out of hand, but of that. Santa Blanca just lost their major coca supplier, along with all their current stock. That's gonna cripple their production. Solid copy. Thanks for the good news. We're moving to the next AO, Nomad out.
Buckle up, people. Fucking hell! drone just spotted one with submachine guns I got a third I'm moving to position let me get into position hold up let me get a good sight line Roger that target marked got the target ready to fire no target repeat no target good to go Tango down. They're gonna make you back up. I got it. I'll fly. Entering a new province? Yeah, Villa Verde. Map shows one major road which leads to the city of Villa Verde. Other than that, looks like a lot of jungle. Let's give Bowman a call. Bowman, we're crossing into the province Villa Verde. Other than a lot of legal coca farms, there's a mine there owned by the cartel. The mine is the cartel's source for pyrolusite. It's used to make chemicals that purify the cocaine, make it nice and white or something. I think we could screw up that step in production for you. I don't have intel on who's running things in Villa Verde. Be careful. Gather intel on the Buchan before making any big moves. Bowman out. Fire. I copy. I'm opening fire. We're out of the cage. Tango down. They've seen us.
Got something here. Looks like the local boss is a guy named El Way. He has a house in a place called Riverine. Let's check it out. Bowman. The name of the Buchon in Via Verde is El Way. El Way? We know him. I wasn't sure he was in Via Verde. He's in charge of processing the pyrolucite into the chemical used to purify the cocaine. An Unidad lieutenant named Bento caused an accident in the processing plant that burned Elway's fucking face off. Oh, so it was easy to spot in the crowd. When the bandages came off, Lieutenant Bento made fun of Elway's hamburger face. Elway went after him and almost... ...started war. Sueño had to step in. That sounds like a great lever to pull. Frame Elway for the lieutenant's murder. The war starts up for real. I'll send you some intel on Elway. Bowman out. Bowman just sent us a video starring none other than Bolivia's butt ugliest comedian, Elway. Sure to be a barrel of laughs. This is Elway. Real name, Pedro Gil. And I know the first question you're asking. What the fuck happened to him? You know what pyrolucite is, right? Yeah, neither did I. Pyrolucite, key syllable pyro, by the way, is the shit they mine in Via Verde province to turn coca leaves into high quality cocaine. So what, you ask? Elway's father was a miner. His grandfather was a miner. His grandfather's father was a miner. Basically, Elway didn't have many options until El Buquita came along. You want to make some real money? Turns out he wanted to make some real money. Turns out, in fact, he was ambitious. Elway wanted to improve pyrolucite to produce the best cocaine the world has ever seen. Ever heard the expression, it blew up in his face? According to our sources, Elway is a generally affable guy. Good to his workers, cool with Unidad. Just don't ever, ever make a joke about his face. Ready? Fire cut another tango. Roger. We've got a station for SB's communication network. I say we knock down that door and take out the control terminal. <laughs> Check this out. The head of the miners' union in Via Verde, this guy named Chango, flat out hates how the cartel treats workers here. Sounds like we have a lot in common. Bet he'd be happy to lend us a hand with fucking up their pirate site supply chain. <laughs> Nicely done. With less cartel stations on the air, the rebels will be able to move into the area. Frag out. Come in here to culeros.
Ready? Open fire. Roger. Tanko knows somebody's got a beat on him. Going on. That supply plane looks fueled up and ready to fly. Let's grab it and get it to the Rebels. Hey! I'm gonna... They know we're here. <gasps> Grenade, move, move, move! Grenade, move! Frag out. Get some. Get down. Hang in there. I'm coming to you. He's dead. What took you so long? Found intel on the location of the Pyrolusite labs. Looks like a good target for sabotage. We need that chopper. Stay low. Clear. How are you guys holding up? Thank you.